Well, hello, and welcome back here to Minecraft the first few days, and I believe, uh, time for us to say goodbye to this place and move on. I think what I want to do this episode is actually find somewhere that I want to settle down. And what I'm looking for is a combination of biomes. If we can get a few biomes close to each other that are going to support us, it's going to make life a lot easier. And what I want is a foresty type biome. Yeah, for example, the one we're in, with an extreme hills type biome, because they, I, I, I've never actually had any proof of this, but uh, I find that uh, um, extreme hill biomes seem to be easier to mine in, and I would also like a plains type biome, so you know, sort of plains, obviously, or a savanna, or something like that. Uh, so we can uh, get some farming, get some easy building on the way. So if we can find a place where all three of those join together, that's going to be a very easy place for us to um, build and, and you know, basically move on to the next step. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to play and I'm going to record and if there's anything interesting I will talk about it. If not, I will see you when I find a place that I like. Ooh, oh. Hmm. Not interested. Okay, see you in a little bit. Well, haven't quite found what I wanted you yet, but that is definitely worth looking at. Ice spikes. It's a, a newer biome. I think this one was introduced in 1.8, but I. Where's the light coming from there? That's probably some lava. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Ice spikes. Incredible. Shame it's not really much use for us, but uh, I think what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to make out the coordinates. We'll probably come back to here one day. Okay, the moon is rising. This is actually the my second in-game day of exploring, and we are still walking around this uh, um, cold tiger. I don't particularly want to build on snow because it uh, makes life a little bit more difficult, but what I have managed to do, um, and this is the reason why we're talking right now, is I've... Uh, found a lot of string and string is a very important thing it can be used to make wool amongst other things so i'm going to use that to make a bed quickly which we should do here let me wood a couple bits of wood so like that and like that gives us a bed then it's few monsters around here now so let's get rid of them quickly yes don't blow up my crafting bench please thank you you too let's get rid of you right doesn't seem to be any other monsters nearby so let's put down this bed Sleep until morning. And now, how is this going to help me? Well, first of all, let's kill this guy. How is this going to help me? Well, the first thing here is um, I've set my spawn at this location, but I don't actually want my spawn to be at this location, and uh, and that's uh, would be a very silly thing for me to do, to be honest with you. Let's get rid of those spider eyes and have the uh, craft bench instead. Um, but as I've just uh, picked up my bed, the spawn has been reset. So it, the spawn is now back at um, zero, zero, yeah, the, at the spawn point. So, But what I can do now is every time it gets dark or starts to get dark, I can put down the bed, sleep the night, and I no longer have to fight monsters. The job has just got easier. And, well, this is a little unfortunate. We've been here before. I've managed to completely loop around the uh, um, tiger that we were 
we were spawned in and there's lots of hills but uh, all the planes are icy and I don't particularly want to build on icy planes it's not easy so what I'm gonna have to do now is give up on keeping with this forest I've taken with me some spruce saplings and a lot of spruce wood so we shall uh, have those when we we uh, do settle down and I'm just gonna move onwards through this icy spikes biome and see what's on the other side hopefully it will be something good now oh, let's talk about going from one extreme to the other over there snowy cold biomes over there desert let's see what we can find Well, as I'll be honest with you, as hills go, those are fairly extreme. And here I am again. 30 minutes later, I have circumnavigated what has turned out to be a fairly small island. Now, I have two choices at this point. I can build a boat, go out to sea, see if I can find uh, uh, another island or the, the continent or I can choose to settle down somewhere and I actually decided I think I'm going to settle down here reasons being is this area actually does meet my requirements there are hills there are plains and there are lots and lots of trees so we will be building here uh, this the snowy biome is going to make a little bit extra work let's see uh, the bowls I dropped um, but we've got the uh, the desert here with the cactus and the reeds that's going to help and the sea and there's lots and lots of cows and that's going to give us a bit of a leg up to start off with as well so i think what i'm going to do is i am going to say we are going to move in here and let's make ourselves a a little home just a a temporary place more than anything else um and we shall start establishing our base here in this episode perhaps moving on to the next episode but I think this is not a bad location at all we will start working here so building montage <laughs>
a little bit rough and ready, but I think it'll do for our immediate needs. And just in time to sleep in it as well. So let's go and do that. And in the morning we will make one more build and then I think we're going to call it an episode. So there we go. Right. Um, okay, so we built the structure. We put a bed in. We have our crafting bench. Uh, let's make a couple of furnaces. Let's make a single furnace because we've only got that much cobblestone. So we'll just do that. Just get it in. Like that. Now I put the storage in the ceiling to save space. Let's put the cursor in that back. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make some trapped chests to fill in the uh, the spaces. We will do that um, anon when we've got a bit more wood. We've got plenty of view outside. Uh, there's a desert just over the other side, so we can replace these fence posts with glass later on. The uh, the one thing I want to do before we end this episode, though, is I want us to go and get those chickens up and running. We have all these these eggs. We have 12 eggs. Hopefully we'll get a couple of chickens out of it. So uh, what I'd like to do here is make ourselves up some fencing and then we will go out and we will put um, the fencing out and then make ourselves a chicken coop now if you are sensible and I must admit, the first few times I played this game, I was not sensible. You will put the chicken coop a long way away from where you live. I think this will probably do. So we shall have ourselves just a, a simple little uh, pen like this. Always make it larger later on. And uh -huh, I thought I'd made a gate. Let's make a gate. All right, so that's one, 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 one. No, it's the other way around, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. You make so many. Um, fences and gates in Minecraft 1.7 and earlier and then they changed the recipe for 1.8 and it becomes very very confusing which is why you you will see people who have played Minecraft a little bit longer going um uh, right okay what do they do there all right now we have cows floating around and the next episode we'll probably go and get some of those but uh, what I want to do now is throw these eggs in here and with luck no, no, no chickens, no chickens at all. We'll keep that pen. Let's stick some light on it, and we will go hunting for eggs later on. And uh, hopefully, we will get some chickens out of it. But in the meantime, we have found ourselves where we are going to start making a, a life for ourselves. We've made ourselves a little build, and. We found, well, we found our first set of livestock, effectively. We found some cows, and I'm going to be, uh, in the next episode, making a farm, getting some uh, wheat together, and then we're going to be luring some of those cows down and penning them in, and we will start our farms that way. But in the meantime, I'm Simon Parsons. This has been Minecraft the first few days. Thank you, and good night.